Hello everyone, welcome to our special techno channel. Last session we learned you the first part of creating the line styles with SLD. In this session we will talk around the second part of defining the styles for line feature types in Joe Saber. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of this video. Line with default label. This example shows the text label on the simple line. This is how a label will be displayed in the absence of any other customization. Click the add a new style again. Then enter the line with default label for its name. Select simple line style from the existing style. Then click on the copy link. Edit the name, title, color, and width of the style. After the line symbolizer element at line 19, press enter. Then add the text symbolizer element at the new line. Inside it, you have to specify which field of the layer attributes will be used to extract text strings. Now enter the codes that you see on the screen. Remember that the attribute's name is case sensitive. The label is set in the text symbolizer on lines 20 to 24. Lines 21 to 23 specify that the text of the label will be determined by the value of the name attribute for each line. All other details about the label are set to the rendered default, which here is Times New Roman font, font color black, and font size of 10 pixels. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the layer preview section and click on the layer name above the preview box, then select roads layer. Click on save. Optimize and style label. This example improves the default label style by setting some options such as label alignment, label placement, font name, and size. Click the add a new style, then enter optimized label of line for its name. Select line with default label style from the existing styles. Then click on the copy link. Edit the name and titles of the style. At the end of label element at line 23, press enter and then add these codes that you see on the screen.
To see the result of the change, first click on Validate. When it returns the error, click on the Apply button. Switch to the Layer Preview tab and select Project Colon Roads Layer from above the Preview box. Lines 24 to 26 specify that the label is placed along the line. If line placement is not specified in an SLD, then point placement is assumed, which is not compatible with line specific rendering options. Lines 28 sets the text color to black, and line 30 sets the option to have the label follow the line. Press enter at the end of the line 30, then add the codes that you see on the screen to optimize label placement for lines. Line 31 sets the maximum angle that the label will follow. This sets the label to never bend more than 90 degrees to prevent the label from becoming illegible due to a pronounced curve or angle. Line 32 sets the maximum displacement of the label to be 400 pixels. In order to resolve conflicts with overlapping labels, Joe server will attempt to move the labels such that they are no longer overlapping. This value sets how far the label can be moved relative to its original placement. And line 33 sets the labels to be repeated every 200 pixels. A feature will typically receive only one label, but this can cause confusion for line lines. Setting the label to repeat ensures that the line is always labeled locally. Press enter at the end of line 23, then add the codes that you see on the screen to set the label points. Line 25 sets the font family to be Arial. Line 26 sets the font size to 11. Line 27 sets the font style to normal, as opposed to italic or oblique. And line 28 sets the font weight to bold, as opposed to normal. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the Publishing section and click on the Roads flag to make this style the default for that layer. Click on the Save button. Go to the Layer Preview section and open up the Optimal Layers Preview for the Project Colon Roads layer. Your map should now look as shown in the screen. Attribute Based Line in this example, the style of the lines is changed based on the type attribute. Click on Add a new style from the Styles page and enter attribute based line in the name field. Select simple line style from the existing styles, then click on the copy link. At line 13, replace the title of the rule with the street. Then at the end of this line, press enter and add the codes that you see on the screen.
Also, at line 22, replace the color to dark green. Lines 12 to 26 comprise the first rule. Lines 14 to 19 sets the filter for this rule such that the type attribute has the value of street. If this condition is true for a particular line, the rule is rendered according to line symbolizer which is on lines 20 to 25. Lines 22 and 23 set the color of the line to be a dark green and the width to be 3 pixels. The second rule specifies a style whose type attribute has a value of row. To define it, press enter at the end of line 26. Then copy the entire contents from first rule and paste it in line 27. Now let's edit it. Replace the title element and literal value to row at lines 28 and 32. Change the color and the width to dark blue and 5 pixels in lines 37 and 38 respectively, which will make the lines slightly thicker than the straight lines as well as a different color. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the publishing section and click on the roads flag to make this style the default for that layer. Click on the save button. Go to the layer preview section and open up the open layers preview for the roads layer. Your map should now look as shown in the screen. Zoom baseline. This example alters the style of the lines at different zoom levels. That means you need to write the map scale for which zoom you want to show or hide the styling. Click on add a new style from the style page and enter zoom baseline in the name field. Select simple line style from the existing styles. Then click the copy link. Replace the text inside the title element with small at line 13. Then at the end of this element, press enter and add a minuscale denominator element as you see on the screen. This rule is corresponding to when the view is zoomed out. The scale rule is set on line 14 so that the rule will apply to any map with a scale denominator of 550,000 or more. At line 17, change the color to cyan, and at line 18, change the width of the lines to 3 pixels. The second rule is the large scale denominator corresponding to when the map is zoomed in. To define it, press enter at the end of the rule element at line 21, then copy the entire contents from first rule and paste in line 22. Now let's edit it. Replace the title elements to large in line 23. In line 24, replace the max scale denominator element, then change the width of the lines to 5 pixels in line 28. Press enter at the end of line 30, then copy the context of text symbolizer from lines 20 to 40 from the optimized label style and paste them in line 31 as you see on the screen. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the publishing section and instead of making the default style for the roads layer, flag the associate option as shown in the screen. Then click on the save button. Open the layer preview map. Your map is still presenting the default style. Click on the button on the top left of the map to show the options toolbar. From the style drop down list, select zoom based line. Your map will suddenly be updated with the new style. The result of this style is that lines with optimized label are drawn larger as one zooms in. In this session, we learned you how to create advanced line styles by Joe Sever. It's our pleasure that you subscribe to our channel and watch the videos. Also, if you would like to know more information around the first part of the line styles with SLD, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a great time!